Recently, there's been a lot of talk going around about the new Steam Deck, the latest and greatest handheld on the planet. Allows you to play all your Steam games, any Steam game on your library. You can play on this tiny little handheld. It's quite incredible, really, and I probably am going to end up pre-ordering one and getting it. But, that doesn't mean it's the first of its kind. So today, I'm going to bring you a tablet-like console that allows you to play your Steam games, your, your full Steam games, on the tablet itself with its own little screen and its own little controls. And it's not made by some weird, you know, separate company like GPD or anything like that. It's made by a first-party company. We're talking about the Wii U. <laughs> Okay, so I might have lied a little bit in the t in the intro. It's not actually playing games natively on the Wii U. Of course, it's a Wii U. Wh what were you expecting? You can't play modern games on a Wii U. However, you can stream them to the Wii U from your main PC. So the first thing you're going to need is you have to have at least an NVIDIA 600 series card or newer. Now that covers a wide range of cards, but if you're on AMD, I'm sorry. This isn't going to work for you, at least not right now. Maybe eventually somebody will make a, a version that works for AMD, but it doesn't work right now. And that's because this relies entirely on NVIDIA's game stream software. Now, NVIDIA's game stream software was actually made to stream games uh, wirelessly to your NVIDIA Shield, whether it be a tablet or I think you can stream them to the TV boxes. I don't know. I don't give a crap about game stream. What I give a crap about is what we're going to be trying that today. Okay. So in order to get it to get started, the first thing you're going to need is this program called Moonlight. So if you just type Moonlight GitHub, I found is the best way to get it. Uh, right here, you need Moonlight Game Streaming Project. Now what this is, is it's actually a program that's made to uh, take that GeForce game stream software and fork it out to other platforms than just NVIDIA Shield stuff. So you see you have Moonlight Android, Moonlight iOS... Uh, down here, they have one that runs on Chrome OS. I mean, there's quite a few versions of uh, Moonlight available. We're going to need two things. First of all, we're going to need this, the Internet Hosting Tool, and we're going to need this, Moonlight Qt. So if we go over here, first of all, for this one, um, this is just going to make sure that your computer can actually stream the games outward, and it's going to open up any ports needed, anything like that. So if you've never used GitHub before, you just click on this, right over here and you click on whatever you need I'm I'm gonna click on that to download it but I don't actually need it because I already have it installed but yeah you would just run this and go through the installation settings the next thing you're gonna need is Moonlight QT which is basically the main version of Moonlight this is what allows you to stream the games over so if you just scroll down you can uh you can kind of ignore a lot of this but there is a lot of this you might want to read because uh, it is gonna help you set it up if you have any issues or anything like that you're gonna want to read all of this. But if you scroll down here, you can see there are many different versions Windows, Mac OS, Steam Link. There's one for Linux, uh, more Linux, uh, different distros, Raspberry Pi, and Nintendo Switch, and even Nvidia Jetson, of all things. But we're going to click here right on Windows, Mac OS, and Steam Link. And then right here, you click on Windows Installer, and then you just click on Windows Installer, it downloads that. And I already have this installed, so I'm not going to run it. They have extensive, uh, an extensive tutorial on how to install Moonlight, so if you ever have any issues, you can always just look at that. But once you get it installed, you're going to need one more thing. You're going to need to make sure you have NVIDIA GeForce Experience 3.22 or 21 or older. Okay, you need 3.21 or older because for some reason with 3.22, they killed off support for like the gamepad controls won't work if you are using 3.22. So you need to download the older version of GeForce Experience and you can do this by going to uh, like File Horse right here and you click on say this one, 3. this is the one I'm running, 3.21.0.36. Uh, click here, just if there's any ads, ignore them, click on this green free download button. And then this one right here. And that will download that right there. And we're not going to run that. You know how to install GeForce Experience. It's very straightforward. It's very easy. But with all that installed, the first thing we need to do when we open things up is we're going to type Moonlight 
and we're going to click on this one, the uh, Internet Streaming Tester, right down here. So what this is going to do is it's going to run a test, basically, on all the ports, everything on your PC, all the network jazz, to make sure that your computer is capable of actually streaming these games to the physical tablet itself. So this might take a little bit, but it's well worth it, and uh, it's, it's almost a necessity at this point. So once that's done, you'll get this right here. This PC is ready to host over the internet. Do not uninstall this program. That is correct. Do not uninstall this program. You want to keep this on your computer because it keeps all the ports that you need open, all the firewall settings changed to make sure that you don't have any issues when you're trying to stream. So we just say, okay, that closes out all of that. And then we're going to open up Moonlight right here. And uh, I already have a computer added, but if you need to add a PC, all you do is click right here to this plus. And then it says to enter the IP address of your game stream PC. Now, how do you do that? So what you actually need to do for that is if you go back to the start menu and you type CMD and just hit enter, it's going to open command prompt. Now, this big scary, black on white text. Oh, dear, it's scary. But all you got to do is type IP config. And what that will do is that will bring up all this information. Ignore this. This is VirtualBox being its own pain in the butt. But... What you want to look for is your internet adapter. If you have Ethernet, uh, it's going to show up like this. If you're going to have Wi-Fi, it'll show up as something else. But I have Ethernet, so here we go. And you want to grab this IPv4 address. So all you got to do is grab, grab this, right-click. It automatically copies when you right-click in the command prompt. And then you just go over here. You do Control-V. And then you would hit OK. I already have it on here, so I am not going to do that. But with this added... This is the PC side of things done. Now we're going to need something else. And that's if you go back to Google, you type Moonlight Wii U. And what this brings you to is this. I mean, I use the GBA temp. You can go right here. But I just like to use this GBA temp uh, page. This is the main page for Moonlight Wii U. It has, it's a forum post. So there's tons of info if you need any of this. If you're having issues, just, the comments are amazing. There's 155 replies. Everybody's helping each other. They're great. So what this is, this is the actual program that you're going to run on your Wii U. So uh, you can ignore most of this. Uh, you can read some of it if you want. Uh, there's, here's your requirements. Uh, so what you got to do is uh, just basically just follow this quick start stuff. But we're just going to go like this. If you hit here, click grab the latest version from the releases page. Click here. It'll bring up their GitHub. And the latest version of as of the making of this video is 1.1. So you just, once again, on GitHub, you just click on that, downloads it just like that. So when you open this up, you're going to see this Wii U folder, right? Wii U. Now, this is where things are going to take a bit of a turn because you require, in order to get this work, you require the Wii U to be modded. It has to be modded and Homebrew has to be installed. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial on that today. I can if you want, but... Uh, installing uh, Homebrew on the Wii U is a bit more of a convoluted experience than, say, doing it on the uh, the Wii. Um, the Wii U is just a—it's a bit more of a mess, and it's actually you actually have to pay five dollars for something. But that's beside the point. But uh, this is where it's going to shift. If you don't have the Wii U modded, unfortunately, you can't do this. Um, I will maybe make a video on how to do that. But for now, this is only for people who have modded Wii U's. And want to do this, which is, it's getting very slim, the amount of people that are actually going to use this. But, okay, so you click on this right here. When you open this up, if you have a modded Wii U, you know what the Wii U folder is. This is where all your apps for the homebrew launcher is stored. Or all you got to do is a couple of things. First of all, you have to open up and just double click through all this until you get to these two files. Okay, and then you're going to want to open the moonlight.conf. Uh, when you open this up, it might ask what program you want to open it with. Just open it with Notepad, okay? It, it's fine. So once this opens up, you're going to see all this stuff. And this, if you don't know, uh, is kind of, it's it, it's just the configuration settings, but it also kind of acts like code. In the sense that to enable settings off of their defaults, you have to do this. You have to delete the, uh, the pound signs next to each of them. This is because the pound sign indicates a comment. By taking it out, it's no longer a comment. It's an actual string of code. So, first thing you want to do, you have this is the only one you have to change. You have to delete this, 
take this address and paste in that PC address that we put in for uh, Moonlight, right? You need to enable this right here. Okay? Then, once that's done, you can customize any other settings how you like. Personally, I'm going to do this just because I need a... I want a stable connection, and uh, my internet is not the greatest right now. I don't know why. I'm trying to fix it, but I don't know why. So I run this at 640 by 480 at 30 FPS. It looks actually pretty, uh, decent, considering that we use the screen. But you can run this at whatever you want that your uh, PC can that, that your PC and your internet can run at. You can run it at 1080. You can run it at 4K. I think I think you can go up to 4K. But uh, your PC might not be able to run it, and it might not be able to stream it. Uh, so I suggest sticking with something lower. 720p is good if you are able to stream at that just fine. So uh, I like to go here and take this out and set this to false. Just so you make sure that you are using the Wii U's built-in controls. The Wii U gamepad. This is, this is indicating that you want to disable those and use like... Pro controllers or something like that, or Wii remotes. So by t by setting this to false, it is going to use the Wii U's controls. Swap buttons. You can set this to true if you want. This will take the B and the A and reverse them. So on on Nintendo consoles, you know that B and A are reversed. B uh, B is where A is, and A is where B is. Like, uh, and since most PC games are made based around the Xbox controller. Some people want to swap the buttons to uh, what they should be properly. I'm going to do that just for the sake of things. And then bitrate. Bitrate's also another important one based on your internet speed. Uh, this is something you might need to research a little bit more. But for me, I'm going with 5 megabits per second. So I'm going to set this to 5,000. And then these other ones, honestly, I just don't take them off. Because uh, then it will run by default. Uh, I would just leave them how they are. So when we're done with this, you want to make sure you hit File, Save, or Control S, either works. And then just close out of this. Yeah, all you got to do is back out until you get to this Wii U folder, and then drag this over to your SD card with Homebrew installed. And that's going to be it for the... That's going to be almost it for the PC side of things. Next, you're going to want to go over to your Wii U and put that SD card in the Wii U, turn it on, and load up the homebrew launcher and start up Moonlight. So we're gonna do that right now. So once you're on the console side of things, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. But all you gotta do is boot up your modded Wii U. You'll see the uh, this little boot menu CBHC. Everybody's aware of that. If you have a modded Wii U, you know what that is. Basically, speed through all this, load it all up. Once it gets loaded, Jesus Christ, the Wii U takes a while to load. Holy crap. Here we go. Then you just launch the homebrew launcher. Once you load up the homebrew launcher, you go to the second page and you select this thing right here. It's called Moonlight. It's got no image by default. Uh, you can set one, but it has no image. You just hit load on that. Load everything up. It'll do this. It'll do connect. And what you want to end up doing is if you press B to pair, what you can do is you can pair the gamepad to the PC. All you got to do when you press B, it'll give you a code. You go over to your PC, you hit the pair button, and you can type in that code. And then once you're done, all you have to do is press A to stream, and it'll handle the rest. It loads up Steam, and then you can access your library. It is extremely buggy. Uh, there was a fair number of times where it crashed for me. This is just a quick little bit of Portal 2 right here doing a little bit of an input delay test. Not a great one, but you can see it's really not that bad. Um, the gameplay here is more just caused by the fact that I'm not used to playing on a controller rather than um, the actual input delay of the uh, streaming itself. Streaming itself works great. And I did set it I did set it to 640 by 480, but on this Wii U screen, which is a very low resolution, it works just fine for that. So here's just a little bit of Portal and then a little bit of right here we got some Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is a bit of an interesting case. What you'll end up finding out is sometimes there are some games, like the example Cyberpunk, that require you to... It opens a separate launcher 
and when it opens that separate launcher, you have to like hit play on it or whatever. Or like, you know, the, uh, City Skylines does this, Cyberpunk does this, uh, Warframe, uh, Smite, things like that. You just for those, unfortunately, um, I couldn't get the touch the touch screen working properly, so I had to go over to the PC and hit the play button manually to to get the games to launch. But it does work, and uh, loading it up, it's really not that bad. Now it did actually end up crashing after this, but uh, it's it's playable, and if you tune the settings just right, I think you could have a more than playable experience uh, with Cyberpunk, especially. So yeah, I mean, that's all you really need to know about this. This is how to basically stream games wirelessly to the Wii U. I mean, fuck the, fuck the Steam Deck. Who needs any of that shit when you got a, a Wii U gamepad, a computer with an RTX 3080, and way too much hope and time on your hands. So uh, yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope if you want to try this out for yourself, let me know how it goes. Uh, let me know if I missed anything. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll revisit this, but uh... Yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day.